As we get you updates on uh, everything related to the elections, we're going back to the Gujarat elections. Uh, and I also have my colleague uh, Abhishek who's joining us. Abhishek, talking about the Gujarat elections, of course, you know, a while ago we were discussing what the mood is currently like after the fact that BJP went on to give this uh, fantastic performance. In fact, outdoing what they would have probably envisioned. Talk to us about the fact that where are you currently? What's happening out there? Yes, definitely. I am at the BJP headquarters, <laughs> that is Sri Kamlam at Gandhinagar. And since morning, as the voting star uh, counting started from 8:30 a.m. onward, these are the you know karikarta, these are the party workers who are celebrating since morning. And definitely, you know, something a big landslide victory. In fact, the exit poll couldn't predict that kind of a victory because uh, average of ex exit poll, you know, stated around 135 to 130 seats. And it is now exceeding 150 plus seats for the BJP. Let's try and understand what's the mood. Kya kehenge itni bhari bahumat se BJP fir ek bar satta banane jari. मैं कहूंगा ये मोदी जी की मेहनत है और कार्यकर्ताओं का जोश है बहुत मेहनत की है और सब लोग ये मैडम जी से बात कीजिए मैं तो एक छोटा कार्यकर्ता हूं मैडम जी मैडम किस तरीके का एक तरीके से कनेक्ट होता है मोदी जी का नाम आता है मोदी जी गुजरात से जुड़े हैं तो उसका भी कनेक्ट है काफी मुद्दे भी रहे उसको लेकर चुनाव लड़ा गया और इतनी बड़ी बहुमत से सरकार बन रही है एज अ बीजेपी वर्कर और मैं यही कहूंगी कि मोदी जी का नाम आते ही बस और कुछ नहीं सोचता बस मोदी जी है तो मुमकिन है बस वो ही सोचता है और मैं तो ये भी कहूंगी कि जब तक मोदी जी है यहाँ गुजरात में इलेक्शन की जरूरत ही नहीं है क्यों खर्च करे खाम खा इट्स बेटर जस्ट अवॉइड इट वो ही आने तो बेटर टू अवॉइड दैट काफी लोगों ने कहा कि आम आदमी पार्टी का कुछ होगा कांग्रेस की इस तरीके से हालत हो गई है और डेढ़ से ज्यादा का आंकड़ा बीजेपी बहुमत में ला रही है फिर एक बार भूपेंद्र पटेल चीफ मिनिस्टर बनेंगे डेफिनेटली भूपेंद्र पटेल फिर से चीफ मिनिस्टर बनेंगे जिस हिसाब से लैंडस्लाइड विक्ट्री हुई है बीजेपी की बीजेपी ने गुजरात के सारे रिकॉर्ड ब्रेक किए हैं इस बार और हमने हमको तो पहले से ही मालूम था कि आम आदमी पार्टी सिर्फ रेवड़ी बांट रही है और कुछ नहीं है और आप देखें रिजल्ट देख लेते हैं कि सिर्फ चार या पांच सीट मिली है दिस अ लैंड स्लाइड विक्ट्री ऑफ नरेंद्र मोदी और भूपेंद्र पटेल सरकार कहीं ना कहीं अगर कांग्रेस की बात करें तो बड़ा झटका लगा है सोलह तक सिमट गई है कांग्रेस ऐसी हालत हो गई है गुजरात में कभी वो राज करते थे क्या कहें कांग्रेस ने तो समझो कुछ अभी तक विकास किया नहीं पंद्रह बीस साल से तो नरेंद्र मोदी जो आए और विकास गुजरात का इतना हुआ खाली गुजरात का नहीं पूरा इंडिया में उज्जैन में महाकाल का मंदिर अच्छा बनाया वाराणसी में बनाया अयोध्या में बनता है राम मंदिर गुजरात में भी पावागढ़ मंदिर गुजरात में रोड मेट्रो ऐसे मेट्रो देश में भी कई कई जगह पे मेट्रो का काम भी पूरा भी हो गया मेट्रो चलने भी लगी ऐसे विकास ब्रिज बनाया रोड रास्ता बनाया इसी हिसाब से बीजेपी को तो खाली गुजरात में नहीं पूरे देश में Thank you. Thank you. Definitely, so this is the mood of the workers, the party workers out here, and definitely the development politics, the development work done by Narendra Modi across the country. In fact, in the state of Gujarat, is something that has resonated across to the voters of Gujarat. And one important point made by uh, Ma'am is definitely, you know, like why do you need elections? Because if such kind of a landslide victory, it will be just waste of money. And why can't you declare for another so many years that, you know, Narendra Modi or the BJP will rule the uh, state of Gujarat henceforth? Back to you. Right, Abhishek, that's very interesting to point out because I think in the sense, you know, at the end of the day, probably what she's trying to say, it's the brand factor of Modi that has worked. So, you know, the fact that he went out there and the strategy was to have those roadshows has ultimately really uh, gotten them the result that they wanted. But one very interesting point that uh, someone also happened to point out is the Aam Admi Party strategy, where they'd, of course, you know, in their campaign spoken about what they've done for Delhi. But is it safe to say that Gujarat probably does not want to accept freebies because we've seen the debate about the Ravdi culture as well. What can you tell us about that? See, definitely one point is very much clear that, you know, they came with a lot of promises lot of dreams, lot of expectations and those uh, things resonated in the middle class and lower middle class voter. Let me tell you, more than 16% of the vote share still belongs to the Aam Admi Party and five of uh, their seats are coming. So you cannot uh, rightly uh, deny their existence. Right. But you know, what was uh, different for them is the narrative 
the narrative being set by the BJP in the state of Gujarat that you know freebies are something that you should not be asking for and Kejriwal is an outsider and he should be rejected and such kind of narrative was there and the low upper middle class and the traditional voter of the BJP, the business class which came out in huge support. Let me tell you in the first phase, in the second phase there was low turnout and slow voting but Despite the low turnout, that turnout was for Narendra Modi, was for the BJP and the traditional voters of the BJP was out on the booth voting for the BJP. In fact, the Aam Admi Party has dented the vote share, dented the seats of the Congress. If you club the vote percentage of Aam Admi Party and the Congress, that is some way or the line similar or nearing to the BJP, which is above 50%. So definitely at a clear loss is the Congress Party. There are some gains for Aam Admi Party to be tagged as a national party, but in and out, seven term, straight landslide victory for the BJP in the state of Gujarat once again and Bhupendra Patel to be sworn in as a chief minister for the second time on 12th of December. Back to you. Absolutely. As you're pointing that out, that he's going to be uh, sworn in as well. If you, We're also hearing, we're picking up that uh, Prime Minister Modi as well as Union Home Minister Amit Shah are likely to be attending this, uh, you know, a particular uh, swearing-in ceremony. Also, if you could talk to us about the cabinet front, would we be seeing the same or, you know, are your sources suggesting that there could be a change as well? See, this is where the interesting factor is because, you know, you will have to understand uh, how anti-incumbency was made into pro-incumbency by the BJP. Let's try and, uh, you know, those visuals and understand the time of the COVID. We have seen, we have done stories and Gujarat was a state which was, you know, worst affected and we have seen people on the street dying and things of that sort. But that how BJP managed, it overhauled the cabinet in a day, you know, Chief Minister Rupani was sacked. In fact, other entire cabinet came into picture. When it comes to giving tickets, you know, 40, 40 MLAs, sitting MLAs were replaced. You know, such how. In fact, the caste equation that has been, uh, you know, uh, ST, SC, OBC, Dalit, Patidar, they were equally given tickets and distributed, especially the Saurashtra and Kutch region, where BJP has performed overwhelmingly, you know, this, uh, if we compare in 2017. So you might get surprises when it comes to cabinet expansion. But one thing is for sure, Bupendra Patel will take oath as the chief minister for the second time. But which new faces will come in the cabinet is something that we will have to wait and watch out for. Back to you. Right, Abhishek, as you're pointing out, you know, in just a couple of days, we're going to come to know that. But let's talk about the fact that this, you know, election was also very interesting with the fact that certain names, uh, everybody was kind of eyeing to see, you know, how they're going to be performing. So talk to us about the key candidates and ultimately, uh, did that transpire for them as to how one expected? See, as far as those key candidates, when it comes to Hardik Patel, who was known as the Patridar face, then he went to become the Congress working president. And then he again changed the party and came to BJP. BJP gave him ticket. He won from Virangam. Let's talk about Alpesh Thakur. Alpesh Thakur, one of the prominent face who led the OBC agitation against the BJP in 2017, was again who won to Congress and again come back to BJP. And he was given a ticket. He has won. So, you know, all the prominent faces like... Uh, especially when it comes to the BJP, who were given tickets, have definitely performed well. In fact, uh, where we can see, you know, the Gopal Italia is something, the Aam Admi Party president, in fact, Ishudan Gadvi is something where, you know, these are the prominent faces who cannot make up to the mark. Alpesh Kathiria, one of the prominent face of Partidar agitation, who was given ticket from Varacha constituency of Surat, uh, miserably failed in, uh, you know, securing votes. But definitely the atmosphere before the polls made by especially something is, uh, if you talk about Surat, which was an important place because our 27 corporators of Aam Admi Party were, you know, from Surat have turned up and Surat is something where Aam Admi Party had made inroads. But none of the seats have come up from Surat is something a big question mark for the party. In fact, the split of vote is directly benefited to the BJP. 
because you know it was neck to neck vote share and vote counts when it comes to congress and the aam aadmi party which has directly benefited again when it comes to surat out of 16 seats 15 is directly going to the bjp and this is where something the aam aadmi party will have to introspect how to increase their vote share and a bigger introspection needs to be done by the congress in fact the traditional voters of the bjp have stick to them and this is the reason because of which this huge landslide victory is possible and definitely all the prominent faces but one prominent face is the biggest face is narendra modi on which the entire election was fought and let me tell you 31 rallies in fact two major road shows and one of the biggest and the largest road shows covering almost 15 constituencies and 50 kilometers was done by prime minister narendra modi and definitely that is an encouragement for the workers at the ground level which has you know contributed in this huge landslide victory and home minister amit shah and prime minister modi is expected to come on 12th of december for the vote taking ceremony back to you Right, Abhishek. Many interesting points that you have made out there. But stay with us. We also have breaking news coming in with the fact about uh, Gujarat elections. In fact, you also pointed out lot for uh, Congress to be introspecting. So the breaking news that's coming in is that on the verdict of the Gujarat election, the Congress has conceded defeat in Gujarat. In fact, uh, Rahul has reacted to the Congress's loss and vows a restructuring of the Congress. So that is the big breaking news that's coming in, where uh, Rahul Gandhi has reacted to Congress's. Loss. loss in uh, the gujarat elections remember they have uh, got uh, only 17 but was on the other hand bjp getting that landslide victory of 156 uh, to their party so that is of course uh, congress conceding defeat in the gujarat elections um, abhishek if i could uh, you know come back to you on this particular re- re- all right i i also okay abhishek stay with us i have akanksha joining uh, me live on the broadcast from uh, bjp's uh, headquarters in delhi akanksha very good evening to you on one hand we're of course discussing about the fact that it's been a landslide victory for the bjp but right now with that breaking news that's coming in that uh, rahul gandhi has reacted after this defeat in fact he's gone on to state that uh, there will be restructuring of the congress tell us more Well, absolutely, it's, it is a very big day for the bar, for the Bharatiya Janata Party. Let me uh, straight away show you the visuals from the Bharatiya Janata Party's headquarters here in the national capital. The stage has been set for Prime Minister Narendra Modi to come and address the cadre of BJP. Since morning, uh, the uh, workers, leaders, and the supporters are waiting here at the uh, party office for uh, uh, their uh, leader. Let me go across and speak to some people here. क्या बोलेंगे बहुत बड़ी विक्ट्री हुई है गुजरात में बीजेपी हाँ बीजेपी की जीत हुई है गुजरात में अच्छा काम किया मोदी ने देश में भी अच्छा काम किया गुजरात में भी अच्छा काम किया और आगे को भी 2024 में मोदी की ही सरकार आएगी और जीत होगी हिमाचल में बीजेपी की हार हो गई है इसको किस तरह से देखते हैं हिमाचल में भाजपा की जो आप बता रहे हो हार हो चुकी है मेरे हिसाब से हार नहीं है केवल वोटों के आधार पे आप बोल रहे हो उसमें भी कहीं ना कहीं 2024 का एक मतलब मजबूती से चुनाव लड़ने की जो वो है जैसे कहते हैं ना कहीं शेर जो होता है जो पीछे मतलब पैर करके जब आगे आगे दहाड़ आगे मार रहा है दो हजार चौबीस के लिए अच्छे संकेत सो एज यू हर्ट सपोर्टर्स क्वाइट है a uh, landslide victory of bjp in the gujarat elections uh, let me again show you the visuals from uh, the uh, bjp headquarters in the national capital the energy here is palpable since morning the party workers supporters are waiting for prime minister to arrive after this landslide victory in gujarat uh, the, they have gathered here and we were told that uh, in about an hour uh, prime minister will be coming here along with the uh, uh, bjp president jp nadda and uh, i request my camera person to just show the stage where he is going to come there's a, a huge vote on the stage uh, gujarat himachal pradesh aur delhi ki janta ka hardik dhanyawad this is what is written on the stage here in the national capital this is definitely a huge day for uh, uh, the bharatiya janata party in some while uh, uh, prime minister is going to arrive here and it will be very interesting to hear what message he has for uh, the party cadre Absolutely, Akanksha. Like you're pointing out, it'll be very interesting to see what are the takeaways uh, for uh, the BJP. On one hand, to be celebrating the victory in uh, Gujarat, but on the other hand, of course, what they will be taking away from the Himachal elections as well. We'll continue to track all those latest developments right here on Mirror Now. We're slipping into.